Right, so in Korea, um, we take the SATs and um, this is going to be um, the hardest problem, I guess, on last year's um, Korean physics SAT test. Let's see. Um, like, personally for me, when I look at it, um, from all the hardest questions um, beforehand, this is probably on the easier side, right? So the question is that we have a very, very large container which has liquid inside, okay? And we have these two ball, A, and another ball, B. They're the same size. And we're going to place upon it a board which has the length of 10L. This here is 2L. And the distance between these parts, this length is um, 5L. And the one I'm protruding to this way, this is 3L. And then there, um, okay. The weight of B is 3M. I'm guessing that M is corresponding to the word mass. Um, A is just M. This thing, um, what do you call it? This bar, I guess, is 4M. And then there is you know, a weight which weighs 6M, and you're going to be placing it on here so that um, it remains balanced. So if you were to put it here, we'll say that this distance um, from the center of gravity of this to the edge is x, and we're supposed to find the value of x. So how would we do this? Right now, the whole situation is um, still. There is no movement. So when we, say, when we say F equals MA, because no movement, that means V equals zero and A equals zero. So velocity is zero and acceleration is zero. So that means the force would have to be zero. When I say force, it means all the forces combined. Now, because this stick bar is um, level with the water surface, that would mean that the amount of volume of water being submerged, submerged is the same. So basically, um, the buoyancy, right? So the buoyancy's force is equal to the density of the liquid times the volume which has been sunk in times the gravitational pull, no, gravitational acceleration, which would be g in this case. So then, um, for all of these, uh, because the volume doesn't change um, if it's a or b because they're the same shape, this is the same, they're on the same planet, so this is the same, they're, um, they're both in the same liquid, so this is the same, so we can say that from this point, there's a a force which is F and in this place there is a force that is F so what do we have to do we have to first um, get how strong F is for that we would say that the total force which is pushing up is the same as the total put total force pushing down because you know we said the total these when you add all of the power, no. When you add all the forces together, it equals zero to make it um, to make it so that the acceleration is zero. So, what are the forces that are in this um, system? I guess um, first, going upwards, there is this F and this F, which is the buoyancies, two F, and then what are the forces that are pulling down on it? First, we have this ball. So we have mg, we have this ball, that's 3mg, and then we have this bar or stick, that's 4mg. We have um, this, 
the weight, I guess, 6 mg. So when we add all of these together, they should equal 0. 2F equals, um, that's 4, 10, 14. So it looks like F equals 7 mg, right? And now what we want to do is that we want to select a pivot point, right? And say that all the torques going in each direction, when you add them all together, it, it equals zero, um, so that the acceleration equals zero. So we have to find out what kind of forces are um, being put in to this stick. When you look at A, the total force is seven up, but because um, this seven mg, right, is pushing up A as well, the sub force, like the subtotal of the forces on this spot would be F minus mg or six mg. And the total amount of force, which is on this point is F minus 3mg or 4mg. So let's draw that in a simpler format, I guess. So the whole length is 10L. Um, we have uh, 2L here and we say that a force is uh, 6mg. And right here, this is 3L. We have a force which is 4mg and we have to say you know, these are the ones that are going well when we select this as the pivot point these two forces are the ones that is going anti-clockwise and the ones going clockwise is right in the middle where the center of gravity is 3L 2L right here um, there would be the mass of the stick, that's 4mg. And then um, somewhere along here, there needs to be this weight of 6m. So we'll say right here, and this length would be x, and it would be pushing down with 6mg. So let's do it. So the, counter the counterclockwise force or torque is... Um, so let's say torque equals um, 2L, 2L times 6mg plus, that's 7L times 4mg. And the clockwise torque would equal um, 5L times 4mg plus XL, well, I'll just say X, X times 6mg and these have to be the same so that's 12 and 28 so 40 40 wait 40 lmg would equal um, this is 20 20 lmg plus 6mg times x Um, so x equals, so divided by 6mg, so that's 10 over 3, L. Yep, and that is the answer. So this whole question was asking, this bar is um, still, it is not moving, it is not accelerating. Where would we have to put this weight on with a certain mass on this um, stick or bar so that it would remain still? And to do that, we, um, we use um, F equals MA. Um, I guess this is also the same as F equals MA. And this is basically the same as F equals MA. Yeah. So for this, the, all you have to know is that um, Buoyancy was um, the volume of water displaced times the, um, well, I say water, but you're supposed to say liquid. The density of the liquid times.
time is the accel acceleration of where you are or your acceleration. So we have to know this one and we have to know that torque is a vector, right? It has direction. This equals um, a certain length times the force times um, at sine theta, but in this case it was all perpendicular, so theta was pi over 2, so this would be 1, so it doesn't matter. So we have this, we have this, and yeah, we have F equals MA. I think these are all the things you need to solve this question. Um, given that yeah, you're supposed to solve 20 questions in 30 minutes, and you have to like check your OMI card, you have to mark it and check if you didn't do any mistakes on the OMI card. I'll say that we have about 25 minutes to solve 20 questions. Yeah, it's pretty hard.